please welcome the one, the only, Jalen Tank Evans! The of cheers and boos brings a smirk to Tank Abbott's face. He has no love or respect for the martial arts or its practitioners. Here is your tale of the tape. Tank, nine years older and 40 pounds heavier than Pedro Hizo, out of Rio de Janeiro, 24 years old. Marco Huas' top student, the four-time Brazilian Muay Thai champion against this man, the most experienced man in the octagon, the man he calls himself the only real fighter in the UFC. There's our referee, John McCarthy. He's ready to get it underway. Here we go, John. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's get it on. Here we go. Heavyweight anticipation tonight. Tank with a bull rush. This is how he came out against Duarte. Oh, Tank goes down. And he's delivered a shot again. Hizzo connected twice. He caught Tank flush both times. Hizzo stunned Tank. Tank went down. He was definitely stunned, but that might have woke him up. Now the Bears mad. How will Hizzo handle that? Now Hizzo was already cut under its left eye. So if you see blood under there, don't be surprised. There is some blood from the year of Tank Abbott. Tank came out with a big burst of gas. He is heavier than he was in UFC 17 by about 18 pounds. He also was chasing Hizzo uncontrollably, allowing Hizzo to pick a spot to go ahead and hit him back. Tank Abbott was definitely stunned on two good shots. The first one put him down to his knees. We Is are just a minute in, and man, are there some strikes being thrown. Oh, Tank answers the kick. Traded a kick for a good punch there. I find it highly unlikely that this fight is going to go the distance. Oh, I don't think so. And Tank's breathing real heavy here right now, too. A cut under Hizzo's left eye. That was the one open from before, from the stitches he came in with, as we mentioned. And Hizzo's got tremendous movement skill. He's able to avoid those quick bull rushes by Tank Abbott. Tank should stand still, make Hizzo come to him. Tank also has a problem. He's never been able to stop leg kicks. If Izzo keeps leg kicking like that, he could take the legs right out from Tank Abbott. That is how he lost to Maurice Smith. From the bar stool to Izzo, the octagon because of leg kicks. Izzo has got Tank tired. Tank's got his hands on his waist. Listen to the cheers of Izzo. Hizo again with the kick, and it buckles the left knee of Tank Abbott. Tank tries a big shot, and he drives him to the mat. And he's going to find himself underneath. He might get choked there. Oh, he's got his head up now. He might get a double leg takedown. Tank's a street fighter. He's a pit fighter, but he is also a very experienced wrestler. Yes, he is. He's had some experience in wrestling. You saw it there. Nice double leg. Kept his head up back straight. Able to lift his O. Didn't get him off the ground, but was able to twist. Knock him down. He's got the takedown. Look for him to take a brief rest here. Try to get some composure. Then watch him go for a sprint. He'll start to strike. But he is tired already. He got dazed, and that certainly is going to add to the fatigue because he's frustrated. Boss Rutan in the corner of Pedro Hizzo with Marco Huas. Still traveling back from Japan, where he suffered a heartbreaking defeat. Hizzo's nickname in Holland is The Rock. And he took a to shot to the chin already early. Tank needs to be careful. He could get stood up unless he's active here. Well, Hizzo told us yesterday that he didn't think he could trade power with Tank, but yet he tried to throw the strikes concurringly early in the matchup. Hizzo, a good striker, good skills on his feet. Well, he certainly picked a Tank. Tank bull rushed him, and he was able to land those nice shots that stunned Tank Abbott and certainly brought this crowd into this fight. Tank has never had a real good pass-the-guard game. He was able to do it to some people, but not against an experienced Brazilian.
One of the early criticisms of David Tank Gavin is you, you can't go blind with pure aggressiveness because of the danger of burning yourself out. Just a rabbit punch to the jaw. Tank has been hit a lot worse than that hundreds of times in his life. The key here is Tank wants to regroup, but it seems every time he starts to raise up, Hizzo catches him with a shot. Tank drops his head, and he starts out in the same position the whole thing started from. So all he accomplished there was getting hit. Nowhere did he gain any kind of positional advantage. What a great first four minutes and 45 seconds. Already one of the Brazilians has won this evening. Ebenezer Fontes Braga defeating Jeremy Horn in a middleweight fight. This another American against Brazilian matchup here on a very popular card in Sao Paulo. As the Brazilians try to go two for two in their fights against North American opponents tonight. Our main event, Vitor Belfort and Vanderlei Silva, two Brazilians battling still on our card this evening. And still later, Frank Shamrock and John Lober for the middleweight belt. And Hizzo wound up to deliver an elbow to the back of Tank Abbott's head, something that's legal under Brazilian rules. But here he was able to gain composure. This shows that this is a thinking game. He stopped himself from bringing the strike down because he knows it's a foul. Tank brought the head up again. He got jabbed. He just can't seem to get on track at all. You notice how Hizzo's legs are hooked into the hip area of Tank pushing him back, keeping Tank from getting any closer to him so his hands can hit him. Great fundamental tactic here by Pedro Hizzo. Now remember the last time Tank was in the octagon, he beat one of Pedro Hizzo's other heroes, Hugo Duarte, who Tank jokingly said, oh, is that the guy in the coffee can? Tank will always say what's on his mind. That is what many love the most about him, is that he is pure. But Hizzo was concerned because there's such great pressure for him to win in his homeland here this evening. I don't know anyone that would not have a pucker factor staring into the eyes of Tank Abbott going into a fight. There's just no way that I would ever want to do it. Certainly someone who has never faced Tank Abbott and seen the kind of power that Tank Abbott has in his punches, you would have to be concerned about that. But the other side of Tank Abbott is it is not sophisticated. It is not strategic. It is pretty apparent what he is going to do. They're back to their feet. Out of the guard. Who's this good for, Jeff? I believe they're going to be taking a peek at the cut. I don't know if there was a foul or not. No, it looks like he's looking at the cut. No water. No water because of the danger of it going off the shoulder and into the octagon. Are you right? right, that was just basically he stood him up. I'm not sure whether he checked the eye or whether Tank really wasn't being busy enough in the guard. But Tank is again moving forward. And when he steps forward, he's presenting that leg to kick like that. Tank's shoulders are coming up and down. Trying to break down the big man. Tank trying to answer. Remember Maurice Smith's kicks, now feeling like an 85-mile-an-hour baseball bat. And that's when he Tank finally did right. He's standing still. He's not presenting himself coming at him. It's harder to uh, kick him. But and it seems that Tank is very fatigued. Now. And believe me, Jeff, these guys know how to kick in the same spot every single time. Tank goes down again. Hizzo striking him. Tank with an uppercut. It missed. Tank is gassed. Four minutes left in the regulation time period. Hizzo again. And he went high, and Tank goes down. It's over. Tank Abbott is down. Pedro Hizzo the winner. Tonight knocks out the legendary brawler 
David, Tank Abbott. Tank is up. Oh my goodness, what a great heavyweight fight. Kosaka, and now Pedro Hizzo. Another look at it. Tank came out early. Hizzo caught him with a couple of shots when Tank tried to go with the early flurry. Was Tank in as good as condition tonight as he was a couple of months ago? That, I believe, is debatable. Tank was fatigued. He caught the right, and that was it at 8.07.